Hi guys, welcome to Animeized. This is the English translated version of the novel Throne of Seal. The novel differs slightly from the Chinese animation or Dong Hua. If you want more of these videos, please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Enjoy and have a blessed day. He is the champion of the individual competition in the selection tournament for the new demon hunting squad. The team he leads also ranked first in the team competition. Furthermore, they advanced to commander level without completing any official demon hunting squad missions. It's these three factors that make them not someone you should provoke. It's time to let go of grudges. After all, we've had our share of bad luck more than once. Lao Wu and Lao Lu both lowered their heads. Lao Wu's eyes were somewhat red. Boss, I was wrong. It's my fault for putting the team in this situation. I'm sorry, everyone. I, Zhang Fangfang was actually younger than Lao Wu, but he had a big brotherly demeanor as he patted Lao Wu on the shoulder and said, It's already happened. Can blaming you bring back our merits? I just hope that you won't act recklessly in the future. Consider it a lesson learned. Chai Er ultimately couldn't convince Long Haochen, and in his rare display of firmness, he ended up buying the armor of resilience for Chai Er. It cost 8,000 merits. Then he bought a brilliant grade equipment called the Invisibility Necklace for Chai Er. The Invisibility Necklace could better conceal one's presence, and distort space, creating an invisibility effect. Chai Er couldn't truly become invisible herself, she relied on the terrain, to hide her body. To truly hide within space, one would need to be a 7th rank practitioner of invisibility. This invisibility necklace would undoubtedly greatly enhance her survivability on the battlefield, complementing her existing abilities to conceal herself better. Since the necklace was an accessory, it was rarer than armor, so it cost a hefty 10,200 merits. With this, Chai Er had spent a total of 20,000 merits to enhance her abilities. Long Haochen didn't intend to buy too much for himself, as he was the squad leader, and he needed to set an example. So, after purchasing these two items for Chai Er, he simply took her to browse the trading center, without any intention to buy more. As Long Haochen had anticipated, the number of demon hunters in the trading center continued to rise, and the prices of items sold by the official vendors remained the same, but the prices for transactions between demon hunters had surged due to the increasing number of people. Lin Sin. This guy, had bought something, who knows what, but now he had become a seller, and surprisingly, there were more people buying from him than any other seller on the second floor of the trading center. Long Haochen had no plans to buy anything, so he brought Chai Er to see what was going on with him. Lin Sin was still doing his old business, selling medicine, and the medicines he sold were quite expensive. He had only a few main types of medicines, including the jade protection pills. These were the same as the ones he previously called the strongman pills, which could increase external spiritual power by 500 points. Then there were the bursting spiritual pills and returning spiritual pills, because they had the greater returning spiritual pills and greater strongman pills. All of these pills were considered surplus by Long Haochen and his group. As for the bursting spiritual pills, they already had 20 of them in reserve, which was more than enough. Lin Sin was quite shrewd. And luckily, he had brought his own stock to sell here. It was clear that the pills Lin Sin had concocted were not as potent as the ones sold by the trading center. But what were the prices of the pills sold by the trading center? The Holy Spirit pills, priced at 10,000 merits each, were considered cheap. There were very few alchemists, and the sale of pills in the trading center was limited. Moreover, they were about to embark on an urgent war mission, and a suitable pill could potentially increase their chances of survival. This led to the prices of Lin Sin's pills soaring. In his inventory, the jade protection pills were the most abundant, and they had already been hyped up to 400 merits each. Merits couldn't be compared to money, as killing a jade green dual blade demon was only worth 10 merits. 400 merits was not a small amount. However, in the demon hunting squad team about to undertake the mission, there were the most commander level members, so there were many buyers, and despite the high price, they were selling quickly. As for the bursting spiritual pills, they were even selling at the high price of 1,000 merits each, while the returning spiritual pills cost 600 merits each, and there was no room for negotiation. In Lin Sin's own words, I didn't even organize an auction, which was already a favor to everyone as fellow demon hunters. Naturally, Long Haochen wouldn't stop him, even though Lin Sin seemed to be taking advantage of the situation, but selling the surplus pills to his own comrades would help everyone increase their survivability on the battlefield, so it was still a good thing. After all, merits were just inanimate objects, but they could be lifesavers when it came to combat power and healing potions. After a whole afternoon of shopping, everyone's purchases were finally completed. Captain, it's done. Let's head back. All the comrades gathered around Long Haochen, looking at both him and Chai Er with smiling faces. Seeing their expressions, Long Haochen couldn't help but feel that something was amiss, but he couldn't quite put his finger on it. On Lin Sin's side, the medicine had also been sold, and everyone returned together. They returned to the villa to rest. Back at the villa, Long Haochen said. 
Before everyone leaves, show the equipment you bought so we can get familiar with them. It's important for us to get acquainted with each other's equipment. This time, they had all purchased radiant-grade equipment, each piece capable of significantly enhancing their own abilities. Their individual abilities had naturally undergone changes. Being familiar with these changes would help them maintain their previous synergy. Lin Sin spoke. I'll go first. Everything I bought was consumable. I can't attack, but I have medicine. I've turned all the money I earned from selling medicine into magic scrolls. When the time comes, I can use those scrolls to support us. Among them, there are ten fifth rank scrolls, five sixth rank scrolls, and one seventh rank scroll that I acquired for 10,000 merits. I'll explain their specific effects to everyone on our way to the front line. As for equipment, I didn't buy anything. With the enhancement from the Fire Crystal Staff, I don't need any other equipment for now. I'll consider it once I reach the sixth rank. Long Haochun responded. All right, Yuan Yuan, what about you? Wang Yuan Yuan said. My Shield of Giant God serves as my weapon. I don't need any enhancements for my weapon. Besides, I'm not skilled in defense. I prefer using a two-handed shield. So, my weapon remains the same. However, I purchased a set of Radiant Grade Armor with spatial attributes. It's called Space Guardian, and it costs 32,000 merits. At this point, her face turned slightly red, as her armor was the most expensive among their purchases. Long Haochun smiled and asked, Does it come with any special abilities? Wan Yuan Yuan replied, It comes with a fifth rank spatial shield that can be solidified. I only need to use one fifth of the spiritual power a spatial mage would use to activate it. It also enhances the gathering of spiritual power by 30%. It's made with mithril, providing a comprehensive boost to my overall strength. Long Haochun gave her a thumbs up and said, It's worth it. If you had bought this outside, it would have cost an astronomical sum of money. Yuan Yuan, you have a good eye. Wang Yuan Yuan smiled and added, It can be used up to the seventh rank, so I won't need to change armor before reaching the seventh rank. Clearly, she was very satisfied with her new space guardian armor. Long Haochun then asked, Did you buy anything else? Wang Yuan Yuan stuck out her tongue and said, I spent over 30,000 merits on this armor alone. I can't afford anything else. Long Haochun continued, What about the others? Who's next? Chen Yin Air raised her hand excitedly and said, I'll go, I'll go. I didn't buy anything expensive. I just bought some pills specifically for magical beasts. Brother, medicinal pills are not something I can produce, and I think my McDoll is ready to advance. It cost a total of 4,000 merits. Han Yu then said, I got myself a radiant grade shield. It's called Reflection of Light, and it has a triple light element overlapping shield. Its defense is comparable to a divine guardian's block. It also has the ability to rebound magical attacks. I didn't change anything else. It cost 11,000 merits. It was Shima Sien's turn, and he said, Captain, I may have bought a bit too much. So don't blame me. As you said, I can't keep wearing the magic robe of a priest. I bought a half-body armor, infused with the power of light. It enhances my external spiritual power by a thousand, and it also has a skill extension effect. It extends the duration of all physical skills. This will be very helpful for my berserker abilities. The armor cost 8,000 merits. And also, I got myself a new weapon. Let me show it to you. My weapon is almost filled with my storage. Rings. Hee <laughs> hee. As he spoke, he couldn't help but grin, and then a golden light flashed from his hand. Suddenly, a rich golden light expanded rapidly. A massive object appeared in his arms. It was quite an extravagant sight. When Long Haochun saw it, he couldn't help but exclaim, This is incredibly over the top. Shima Sien laughed heartily and said, Captain, I've always followed the path of violence. I have naturally higher external spiritual power than ordinary people and with an additional thousand from the power of light, I can't do without this kind of weapon. I wouldn't be doing justice to myself. The weapon in his hand was truly unique. In simple terms, it was a massive metal sphere. There was nothing fancy about it. It had a diameter of about one meter. The metal sphere is very smooth, yet it emits a strong aura of light elemental energy. Even someone with Shima Sien's physique finds it a bit challenging to hold. Although we don't know the material, it probably weighs at least a thousand caddies. Shima Sien proudly introduced his new companion, saying, This weapon of mine is called the Light of Great Strength Pill. I was lucky to acquire it. Since no one wanted this item, I got it at a bargain price, only costing me 16,000 merits. You see, it's coated with a layer of aura calcum, which makes it a top-tier item among radiant-grade equipment. Other items of this caliber start at a minimum of 30,000 merits. My Light of Great Strength Pill comes with a smash skill. It has only one skill, and I haven't tested its power yet. It's said that the core of the Light of Great Strength pill is a 7th rank light elemental magic crystal from a magical beast. I purchased it officially from the trading center, and it's said that if I can exchange the crystal for an 8th rank magical beast, my Light of Great Strength pill could directly become a legendary item. If enough aura calcum is incorporated into it, it could even become a peak level legendary item. 
Upon closer inspection of this massive metal sphere, one can spot a handle on one side of it. Besides the handle, there is also a Thrijan, approximately 9 meters, long, golden chain, about as thick as Shima Sien's arm, attached to it. Unable to restrain his curiosity, Long Hao Chen asked, Is this an enlarged version of the meteor hammer? Shima Sien chuckled and replied, You could say that. I actually think the chain is a bit short, but with my current strength, it's sufficient. When my cultivation improves in the future, I'll definitely have it remade. When I first saw this, I fell in love with it instantly. I've already made up my mind that it will be my lifelong equipment. I'll find ways to enhance it in the future. Han Yu patted his forehead and said from the side, Shima, when you go out in the future, don't tell anyone you're from the Temple of Knights, or the Temple of Knights will definitely come looking for trouble. Also, when you go to the Temple of Knights to learn magic, don't bring this thing with you. Shima Sien snorted and replied, I haven't embarrassed the Temple of Knights, so why be afraid? Who knows, maybe the Temple of Knights will take pride in me in the future. As he spoke, he tossed the massive metal sphere up and down a couple of times. Even though it was only about a foot away from his hand, when he caught it, there were slight cracks in the floor beneath his feet. Long Hao Chen asked, Is that all? Is this the equipment you all bought? Yes, these are our own equipment. The other five spoke in unison. Long Hao Chen puzzledly said, Wait a minute, even though each of you has improved, it doesn't add up to even a hundred thousand merits. And we have more than a hundred and sixty thousand merits to spend, right? Plus, Lin Sin sold a lot of elixirs. There should be plenty of merits left, right? It's no use hoarding too many merits. It's better to convert them into immediate combat power. The five of them exchanged mysterious glances, all wearing smiles on their faces. Lin Sin said proudly, Leader, we knew you'd say that. Of course, we understand that we don't need to keep too many merits. The equipment we bought earlier was for ourselves. Now it's time to buy equipment for you. Me? Long Hao Chen was surprised, looking at the mischievous expressions on their faces. You all. Han Yu said. Leader, we saw you wandering around the trading center. You only spend merits on two pieces of equipment for the vice leader from Lin Sin. But what about yourself? We understand that you want to save merits for everyone's benefit. However, have you considered that you are the core of our team and the main pillar of strength? Only when your power is enhanced can we better ensure our team's safety in battle. This isn't selfishness, it's something that must be done. So, collectively, we've decided to buy you three pieces of equipment. As he spoke, Han Yu's hand emitted a golden light, revealing a peculiar-looking great sword. The length of this great sword was similar to the Holy Spirit sword, about four feet long, but it was slightly wider than the Holy Spirit sword. It had two sets of four grooves running from the blade to the hilt, and each groove had a dragon-shaped magic pattern engraved in it. There were no gemstone inlays, but when this great sword was revealed, it seemed as if the air in the entire villa had become heavier. A strong aura of solemnity swept over everyone. With such enormous blood grooves, even a slight wound would lead to fatal blood loss. Han Yu spoke earnestly. This sword is called the Light of Punishment. It costs 16,000 merits, like Shima's Light of Great Strength pill. It was bought at a low price. It has very specific usage requirements, and ordinary people can't wield it. The user must possess the light attribute, and their innate spiritual power must exceed 70. This light of punishment is said to be a legacy of a powerful retribution knight from the past. It has been sealed away in the trading center's warehouse for a long time. After all, knights with an innate spiritual power exceeding 70 are extremely rare. It has a solidified instant activation holy sword. Skill, allowing you to release a holy sword, with the same energy consumption as normal. But the skill activates instantly. It also comes with a spirit absorption skill. When you strike an opponent, it will absorb 10 points of spiritual power and convert it into light elemental power, replenishing the user. That's an impressive sword. Long Hao Chen almost blurted out. Perhaps this light of punishment still can't compare to his blue rain, light lotus, but its quality is extremely high, and the two accompanying skills are very practical. Instant activation holy sword, even though it consumes the same amount of spiritual energy, can suddenly unleash a fifth rank battle skill, which you can imagine how effective it is in battle. As for the spirit absorption ability, it's especially suitable for group battles especially when dealing with low-ranking demons. Hitting an enemy can absorb 10 points of spiritual energy. So if you face a dual-wielding demon, Long Hao Chen can possibly cover 10 enemies, with a single demon slaying flash or a regular lightning thrust. It will undoubtedly greatly increase his sustained combat ability on the battlefield. 16,000 merits are really not expensive. Han Yu smiled and said, When the captain has better options in the future, this sword can be handed down to me, a win-win situation. Long Hao Chen was about to say something when, Wan Yuan Yuan's hand also emitted a golden light, and a shield radiance about two feet in diameter appeared in her palms. Radiant Saint Shield, with the accompanying Radiant Shield skill. Although it only has one skill, Radiant Shield is a sixth rank skill for guardian knights like you. Like the Light of Punishment, the Radiant Shield only requires the consumption of spiritual energy, but it is instantaneous. 
However, Radiant Shield consumes a considerable amount of spiritual energy, seemingly about 300 points for each use. With an effect lasting for 10 seconds, Lin Yen extended her right hand, and a golden light fell directly onto the ground. Then instantly expanded. A complete suit of armor, including the helmet, appeared in front of Long Haochen. This suit of armor was entirely dark gold in color, with ancient and profound patterns on it. Although it wasn't dazzling, the armor alone gave off a towering feeling while standing on the ground. Radiant Saint Armor, along with the Radiant Saint Shield, is a two-piece set, with the Guardian Knight's sixth rank skill, Spiritual Guardian. Like the Radiant Shield, using Spiritual Guardian is instantaneous, and consumes 300 points of spiritual energy each time. Moreover, these two pieces are a set. When both pieces are used simultaneously, they come with a set skill called Radiance. It reduces the spiritual energy consumption of the two equipment's innate skills by one-third, while increasing their skill power by one-third. Exceptional. It could be said that these three pieces of Radiant level equipment could all be described as exceptional. Both the Radiant Shield and Radiant Saint Armor come with 6th rank defensive skills. Even if a 6th level Radiant Knight owns them, they are absolutely top-notch equipment. And they also come with practical set skills. These three pieces of equipment are all for Long Haochen, so he's almost armed to the teeth. When serving as a Guardian Knight, his overall defense is raised by one level. Even if he hasn't reached his final breakthrough yet, he can still be considered a Radiant level Guardian Knight. You guys. Long Haochen's eyes welled up with tears. No matter how talented he is, no matter how much his command ability improves, he is still just a 15-year-old boy, faced with comrades who are considering him as much as possible. How can he not be moved? Wen Yuan Yuan said, Captain, there's no need for polite words. We're teammates in the same squad, and you are our absolute core. Without you, we wouldn't be able to return from demon hunts alive. Your strength is our strength. Only when your power is formidable can we have greater vitality when facing strong enemies. They have chosen these three pieces of equipment for Long Haochen wholeheartedly. In fact, they have even selected their own equipment. After choosing equipment for Long Haochen using the remaining merits, whenever they face formidable enemies, Long Haochen is always the guardian knight who stands in front of them, his holy sword guiding the most powerful opponents. Regardless of whether he can stop those opponents, everything he does is seen by his comrades. Lin Sin chuckled and said, Boss, put them away quickly. I want to go back to sleep. Tomorrow, I'll wake up early and refine some elixirs. We currently have a balance of just over 90,000 merits. But I believe that after this mission, we'll be able to make up the difference. Her slightly red eyes swept over her companions one by one. I won't say thank you. That would be too cliche. Everyone, get some rest, and adjust your condition to its best before departure. As she spoke, Long Haochen collected the three pieces of equipment in front of him, hugged Chai Air, and went back to his room. The other five exchanged smiles, each holding their newly acquired equipment with satisfaction. After today's major shopping spree, although it can't be said that everyone is armed to the teeth, it's enough to significantly enhance their team's strength. You see, even among the martial-level demon hunting squads, knights with a full set of radiant-level equipment like Long Haochen are very rare. Moreover, their team is only at the commander level, converting all their merits into combat. Power will undoubtedly greatly increase their survivability on the battlefield. Three days passed in the blink of an eye, early in the morning, outside the demon hunting squad's villa area. A total of 42 carriages were waiting silently, most of them with a number on their carriages. Among them, there were four knight grade carriages, nine commander level, 22 martial level, four king level, and three carriages without numbers. They were at the very front of all the carriages. A total of 42 demon hunting squads set off together for the mission, which was quite rare in the Holy Temple Alliance. There were over 200 elite members of the Alliance. They had all experienced life and death battles against the demons, silently boarding the carriages according to their assigned numbers. And up to this point, they still didn't know what their mission was for this journey. All they knew was that their destination was the town of Xingnan Pass, where the priest temple was located. Along with the 42 demon hunting squads, there were also elite members directly under the Holy Temple Alliance, totaling around 5,000. They were divided among the six major temples, but their strength was beyond doubt. Among them, the reinforcements sent by the Knight Temple were the most formidable. A total of 100 members of the Knight Temple's Knight Order, directly commanded by the Knight Temple's Grand Knight, Han Qian. All of them were 7th rank Temple Knights. What was even more terrifying was that all the Temple Knights in this Knight Order were Mithril Silver Knight. They were the true core elite of the Knight Temple. From this, one could see the enormous crisis that Jing Nan Pass was facing. Han Qian, the Grand Knight of the Knight Temple, was also the overall commander of this operation. The 42 Demon Hunting Squads, along with over 5,000 elite reinforcements from the six major temples, all followed his orders. Long Haochen and his companions boarded the carriage marked as Commander Level No. 21. The mission they received was quite simple, follow the main force to Jingnan Pass, and the specific war tasks would be assigned upon arrival at Jingnan Pass. Because the Holy City is located in the central part of the Holy Temple Alliance, 
The distance to the major passes from the holy city is not much different. In the case of a rapid march, it didn't take long before the reinforcements arrived about a hundred miles from Xingnan Pass. However, as soon as they arrived here, the atmosphere among the reinforcements suddenly became heavy, because even from a hundred miles away, they could see a large plume of smoke rising in the distance, and that direction was precisely where Xingnan Pass was located. Grand Knight Han Qian reacted quickly, immediately ordering the troops to march at full speed. At the same time, he personally led the Temple Knight Order and the four royal-level demon hunting squads at the front of the reinforcements, and the members of the three demon hunting squads of unknown level toward Jingnan Pass at full speed. Long Haochen and his companions saw from the carriage window that there were more than twenty figures rushing out of the seven carriages in front, moving at lightning speed, and all of them were at least seventh rank in cultivation. Among them, the six people in the front carriage appeared as six shadows to Long Haochen. We're going to battle. Let's slaughter those demon brats. Shima Xian waved his fists with excitement. He was a genuine warrior through and through, all the way here. Due to the rapid march, most of the time, everyone was on the carriages, feeling quite constrained. Especially Shima Xian, who had just obtained the power pill of light, had been itching to try it out. He had already tested its power once. Naturally, the test subject was Long Haochen. How should I put it? When Shima Xian swung his chain, unleashing the full power of the power pill of light. Long Haochen relied on the shield of radiant skill attached to his radiant shield, plus his divine obstruction skill, he could barely withstand it. But he was pushed back six steps, nearly falling, and his arms went numb. Of course, after that blow, Shima Xian would need to recharge to unleash an attack of the same power. The reason it could unleash such power was, because the power pill of light was truly extraordinary. It came with a crushing skill that had incredible burst power. Furthermore, this skill was permanently fixed in the power pill of light, and the internal array of the power pill of light could absorb light elements from the air through mana crystals. Therefore, this crushing skill didn't even require Shima Xian's own mana. What was even more frightening was that, the crushing skill stacked with Long Haochen's Radiance Ripple. It was like adding fuel to the fire, and after the power stacked, even Long Haochen almost couldn't resist it. After that test, Shima Xian had been eager to test his new weapon on the demons. He had developed a deep affection for the power pill of light. And if it weren't for the limited space inside the carriage, he would have held on to the precious metal lump all the time. Han Yu said to Long Haochen, Captain, what do you think the level of the three carriages in front is for the demon hunting squads? Long Haochen replied, They should be at the emperor level. Han Yu was somewhat excited and said, Could there be title level ones, like the six powerhouses we encountered at the exorcism pass? Long Haochen shook his head and said, It's unlikely. Lin Sin added from the side, It's probably impossible. Title level demon hunting squads don't have to. Take any tasks from the Alliance, they are the true heroes of the Alliance. They don't even reside in the Holy City. Members of title level demon hunting squads are guaranteed to be at the ninth rank. But having a ninth rank cultivation doesn't necessarily make you a title level demon hunting squad member. I think that the three carriages in front are probably all emperor level demon hunting squads. It's just that their strength varies. The carriage at the very front is likely a powerful demon hunting squad composed of six ninth rank experts. Wan Yuan Yuan nodded and said, Brother Medicinal Pills has a point. Given our current strength, we might not be in the forefront, but we'll probably play a supporting role. We'll kill as many as we can. This girl was just as eager for battle as Shima Xian. One hour later, when the reinforcements finally arrived at Xingnan Pass, Long Haochen and his companions finally understood why the Alliance had issued an urgent war mission. The smell of blood mixed with thick smoke came rushing towards them amidst the sounds of battle. They had just disembarked from the carriage and Long Haochen's face immediately became solemn, because he saw clearly that, a total of twelve massive beams of light shot up into the sky. The demon god of the seventy-two pillars of the demon clan had actually sent twelve of them. The thick smoke was rising from within Jingnan Pass, and the sounds of battle were deafening, and the battlefield was actually inside Jingnan Pass. It seemed that this strategic pass was on the brink of falling. The officer temporarily commanding the reinforcements in place of Han Qian immediately issued orders, instructing all demon hunting squads to act freely and join the battle. While the six major temple reinforcements were to be led by their respective temple commanders, they were to enter Jingnan Pass. Perhaps because Han Qian had already led a group of reinforcements to Jingnan Pass earlier, the city gates were wide open. Long Haochen was about to lead his team into the city. But he was stopped. Haochen, Lu Xi, Li Xin, and their commander level number 22 demon hunting squad quickly ran over and joined Long Haochen's group. Not only them, but also Yang Wenzhou's number 3 soldier level demon hunting squad and Duan Yi's number 2 soldier level demon hunting squad also gathered around. Lu Xi was the fastest, arriving in front of Long Haochen and saying, Haochen, we've gotten used to cooperating before, let's act together this time as well. Our entire squad will follow your commands. We will absolutely obey any orders you give. 
His voice was not loud, but it was exceptionally resolute, firm and unwavering, and his attitude of seeking support was very apparent. Yang Wenzhao and Duani also walked over briskly, Yang Wenzhao said. Hao Chen, our four squads are all newly promoted demon hunting squads, the situation inside Jingnan Pass is still unclear, and we may very well encounter strong enemies. How about we act together? Duani also nodded, indicating his agreement with Yang Wenzhao's suggestion. They were all the most outstanding young knights of the Night Temple's new generation, naturally very intelligent. Although they were not aware of what Long Haochen and his team had experienced during their first mission, given Yang Wenzhao's status as the direct descendant of the Alliance's Grand Master, finding out that Soldier Level No. 4 Demon Hunting Squad was accompanying Long Haochen's team on this mission was not difficult. When they saw Soldier Level No. 4 boarding the carriage marked as Commander Level No. 22, Yang Wenzhao and Duani were truly shocked. How did this happen? Long Haochen's team had gained a lot of merits during their trial. But what about Lu Xi's team? Yang Wenzhao even inquired about Lu Xi's team, ordering a batch of Holy Spirit pills to enhance their strength. In this situation, if Yang Wenzhao and Duani couldn't guess that this was related to Long Haochen's team, they would be considered fools. Plus, they had witnessed Long Haochen's excellent leadership skills during the trial mission. The current situation inside Jingnan Pass was unknown, so both of them had the same idea. They came directly with their squads.